Right, so this is going to be our reservoir, but it's hardly the prettiest thing to look at. And it has a hole at the bottom, so we need to seal that up and try and make the box look vaguely pretty. To seal this hole up, we're going to remove the brass fitting at the bottom, and then from another old tank that I happen to have lying around, we're going to cut another bit of the same plastic that the tank's made out of, and stick it over the hole with a good area around the hole so that we can get a good nice watertight seal. These tanks are injection molded so you need to make sure there's a key for the glue to adhere to. So it's a good idea to rub down the area with some 40 grit sandpaper on both surfaces and that will allow the glue to stick properly and form a better seal. This box was injection molded which means it has to be made of a thermoplastic. You can tell it's injection molded because there's a ring at the very bottom of the box where they injected all the plastic into the mold. Because it's thermoplastic, you need to make sure that your glue gun isn't too hot, otherwise it will melt or deform the plastic you're trying to stick together. And therefore you want to make sure that your glue gun is set on the low, lower heat setting. Once you've stuck plastic over the hole, it's worth going around all the edges with the hot glue gun and just making sure there's another barrier to stop the water escaping. Whilst watching me measure and cut pieces of wood to make the box, please remember to like and subscribe the video. It makes a surprising difference if you do. After getting carried away and cutting all the pieces of wood ready to go, see if you can see which at which point I realise I've made a mistake and where it is. The top is the same width as the sides and not the full width including the extra thickness of the longer sides of the box and therefore it doesn't actually fit. So my solution to this was to mitre all of the corners and that way it shrinks the box by the width of the material and allows the lid to fit. So we're just going to use a piece of insulation foam, PU foam, uh, so that we can float the submersible pumps on top of the water so that there's less of the electronics within those in the water because I don't trust the seals on the pumps. So it's like a little raft basically. So we're going to measure some holes so we can see the screen and put the potentiometer in and be able to access those from the outside. And then we're going to 
go onto the inside of the box and we're going to glue all the electronics into it. So now all the electronics are done, I'm just going to go over and check it all and run you through it for my mind more than anything. Um, so I've got the power for the Arduino, this silver lead is for power for the pumps and that goes in here and then loops around each of the commons on the relays and all of these are in and these are the main power for the pumps and that's all connected to the Arduino here. This is the power distribution and sensor, where you put the sensors in, this one. And the potentiometer that was on this side is now on the other side, so it pokes through the box. This is the back of the LED screen, and to alleviate the blue light illuminating the whole room at night, I've put a little switch in so that when you push it, the light comes on and you can read the numbers, but otherwise it's off. Right, so I got it all working and found a new problem. Uh, when you turn it off, it doesn't stop flowing the water, all the water siphons uh, everywhere. So I put this thing together, it's a little one-way valve and a T-connector. Right, so I've made these, well made, installed these little one-way valves it'll let a bit of air in into the pipeline so that the water doesn't siphon all the way down to the plants and empty the whole tank even if the pumps aren't on. So essentially we're done. There's a few little bits that need sorting out. I need to make a knob for the potentiometer 
and I need to calibrate all of the sensors properly within the box now it's all finally set up but neither of those are going to be particularly interesting to watch so we're going to leave it there for this video um, if you like the video please remember to like and subscribe there's always something new and interesting going on every week